What's up guys? Today I got seven pretty cool and unique RPGs coming out in August. There's a little something for everyone, right? Does, not all seven of these are the ones I want to play, but I think that there's a good variety here. So check it out, see which one that speaks to you, and let me know if I missed something important, and uh, we'll talk about it down in the comments, all right? So let's get started. First up is happening right away, and that is Baldur's Gate 3. Now this has every chance of being a goatee contender, right? Baldur's Gate 3 looks incredible. The amount of work they put in looks incredible. They're talking all about the romance scenes. I mean, geez guys, come on. <laughs> but the game itself looks so amazing. There's so much variety. You can build your character. There's a million classes and all of the subclasses and 17,000 endings or whatever. I mean, this game is massive. It looks incredible. Uh, it's right at the top of my list for this year. I'm, I'm super stoked for this one. And uh, th this is gonna be right there, man. This is huge right now. It's hitting all over socials and stuff. People are excited about this one. Uh, it comes out August 3rd for PC. Now it's still coming out like September 6th or whatever it is for PlayStation, Xbox down the road. So if you're excited for that, make sure you check that one out. You probably already have it pre-ordered, I don't know. Next up, we got number two is WrestleQuest. Now this is that kind of unique WWE style wrestle RPG that's like a turn-based game. Pixel art, it's very different. <laughs> it's, it's kind of unique, but, but if you're a wrestling fan, and you happen to like turn-based RPGs, then this is right up your alley. I mean, there's never been a game like this, as far as I know, and it, it looks incredible. The graphics look great, the story looks fun. I mean, it, it, it's right up that kind of WWE style, right? It's a little over the top, and, and the story is wacky and stuff, and it, if that's your cup of tea at all, I mean, this this has gotta be hitting the spot. I mean, there's just not anything like this. That comes out on the 8th. I mean, that, that looks pretty great. Uh, you know, what's the complaint about that? And uh, it's uh, this is a little indie team, so I, I don't think it's gonna be very expensive or anything, but dang man, that looks pretty cool. Uh, if you're into something like that with the big specials and they have legends, so all the big uh, WWE stars, you know, Stone Cold and Undertaker and all that stuff, they'll come in and, and do like these partner things, right? There's a lot of like cool fan service type stuff and I mean, that looks pretty awesome. And next up, number three, we got Atlas Fallen. This is deck 13 with that sand RPG game. Now from hands-on, you know, a few months ago, uh, people were saying that it feels a little more like Darksiders. When we first saw it, we were thinking maybe it was Monster Hunter or Dark Souls. It, it doesn't seem to be. It seems to be more Darksiders, which means it's an action combat system that's kind of button mashy. Feels cool, looks cool, not as much weight behind it. Now, there's been several months since then, and so I wouldn't be surprised if some of that has been addressed to bring more impact to combat. That said, I don't know, right? Uh, I think it looks really cool. I think the the abilities to like get you a, a, around the sand dunes and to get onto like the old broken down buildings and stuff, I think sounds cool. Uh, the combat looks cool, right? It's flashy and all that you like have different weapons you can switch from really quickly. I think that sounds good, making combos or whatever. So uh, I'm not sure yet, right? My, this one's kind of up in the air for me. Like, it could be really cool. It could be not my thing. I'm not really sure. I hope it's good. I hope it's good. De Deck 13 has kind of a hit and miss track record, but when they hit, they've had some really good ones. Yeah, so keep an eye on that one. If you're interested, that comes out the 10th. And uh, yeah, hopefully it's good. All right, next up at number four, we got Stray Gods. Now, this is an interesting one. This is very unique, right? This is a musical RPG. It's like, I don't, I can't tell if it's opera or, or just like drama or what, how it works, but all about the music and singing and, and stuff like that. And you, you make choices. And I, I don't know how much RPG gameplay there is, but I mean, that's what they're calling it. It's a musical RPG, so there's gotta be some. Uh, I just, I don't fully understand how this one works. It, the art style is, is really good, it's very unique. The the characters look cool. I mean, I, I just, honestly, I don't know enough about this. I, I have, the, when I watch trailers, I don't feel like I learn anything. I think there's some choices and, and, and things to do during music and there's gonna be dialogue choices and stuff like that. I think combat is in the music, if there is even is combat. I, like n Even now, I'm like second guessing everything I thought I knew about this game. So this comes out on like every platform on the 10th, same day as Atlas Fallen. Um, so this is one to keep an eye on. Like, 
I feel like this could be one that just kind of disappears, but it also could be one of these like sneaky indie goatee contenders. You know what I mean? So we'll have to keep an eye on it. We'll have to watch it. Like, I still don't know. So uh, like maybe wait for reviews or maybe it's got you peaked and you really want it. I don't know. This one looks really interesting. It's very unique. So keep an eye on that one. And uh, if you get it, let me know how it goes. All right, next up at number five, we got Ban Chow Tactics. At least I think that's how you say it. I don't know. This is PC only, okay? But this has a really cool look to it. So this is a tactical RPG. It's kind of like a Yakuza type thing, right? And it's it's like you are fighting, it's like hand fighting though, right? And you have different moves and different people have some, I do think you do have some different weapons. You get different special powers and stuff. Um, but you go around just like kicking Yakuza but I mean, like, it just, I can't even tell. I think you might be high schoolers, but like, it, this looks fun. The art style is really cool. If you're not a PC player, uh, there's, I think if it does well, there's there's a chance it comes to, to consoles. That happens pretty often nowadays. You know, so you keep an eye on that one. This one comes out the 10th as well, right? A lot of games coming out on the 10th this month. So, you know, I love tactical RPGs. Uh, it's one of my favorite genres. I really enjoy them. So. To me, this is on my radar. If you're not a tactical RPG fan, this probably doesn't matter to you. Um, but I still think you can look at the art style and and see some good there, right? Like, I, I just think it looks cool. So hopefully this one does well. Hopefully these guys, you know, make some money or whatever and um, but this does something good for them because I think it's really cool and it's a, it's a cool project. All right, next up, we got another PC only game. It's called Hammer Watch 2. Now this has a bit of the Diablo style action RPG gameplay, but you have different classes you pick from and you run around like just destroying enemies in the dungeon, upgrading your gear, you're upgrading your abilities, you're leveling up, and then you go back through and you kill more through the dungeons and stuff. Now, I never played the first one. I don't know if you did. I don't know if there's a lot of story in these games. You don't see much story in the trailers or anything, but, but the gameplay looks fun and quick and, and the combat just looks fun, right? And uh, and that's the most important thing. This is another indie team. I don't really know how big the team is, but yeah, it's a, it's a cool looking action RPG, something a little different. So uh, if that's something that piques your interest, make sure you, you look at that one. It comes out on the 15th of August for PCs only for now. And uh, yeah, hopefully that does well. All right, last up, we got Sea of Stars on August 29th. Now. Look at this. This one is going into Game Pass. It's going into PlayStation Plus Extra. It's going to be on all systems. I mean, this game looks incredible. It's a throwback RPG to the likes of Chrono Trigger. The art style is amazing. It's vibrant. The combat looks really cool. With It's, it's turn-based, but with more involvement than that. The developers have been on, like really transparent and talking about it and showing off things and there's all kinds of mini games and fishing and all that kind of stuff in there. It just looks incredible. And with it going straight to those subscription services, man, if you have either of those, you don't even have to pay for it. You can just download it and play it. Um, and uh, it just looks so good. The story looks incredible. They, I mean, they just show, like how you fast travel with a giant golem putting you in like a rock and throwing you. I mean, it, it just looks great. I'm very, very excited for this game. I don't know if there's enough good things to say about it. There's a demo out. There you go, there's another good thing. There's a demo out right now. So if you're not sure, if you want to try it out, go play the demo and see what you think. I mean, I, I just think this game might be the, the uh, indie darling of the year, right? I mean, there's so many eyes on it, which might push some of you away. Don't let it, just try it out for yourself. There's a demo, it's on Game Pass. It's all in PlayStation Extra. Like, just take advantage and see what you think. Uh, if you don't like it, that's, you know, you don't like it, whatever. But, but don't let uh, other people push you away or the fact that a lot of people are just to push you away. Like this game looks incredible. I mean, this is right at the top of my list. I'm so excited for this one. There's too many good games to play, guys. Too many. I cannot keep up. I, I still, I'm wrapping up 16. I still haven't finished Diablo 4. We still got oh, so many games. If, if you get Baldur's Gate 3, and then see if Star's coming up. Man, it is so many good games with Starfield around the corner. This year is stacked. There's gotta be stuff to find that you enjoy. And uh, if none of these are it, that's okay. But if I missed one, let me know what it is so we can show other people a good game to play. It's coming out in August. 
just in case they don't like this list like you. Let us know what you're playing, what you think of these games, if you got something else that's coming out, if you're picking up any of these. Just let me know down in the comments and let's talk about it. Thanks again so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button. That helps the channel out a ton. And if you're new around here, think about subscribing. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one.